Hey guys, the Dollar Buster is here with part 7 of Alien Isolation. Oh god. And last time I was stood here and the the, the robots, the androids, decided to, to, you know, they decided to follow me around. And I, like, from all the way over there, I was, like, stood here and they went, oh no, we're going to come and get you. And I was like, oh god, please, please no. So I just ran for the vent and hid. So, uh, let's continue to, I believe you've got to say, go and find Taylor and it's Samuels, is it? Or is it Samuel? I know it's Sam something. Copper Joes. When I first saw, for, oh, when I first saw that, I thought it said Crapper Joes. I was like, what the hell's Crapper Joes? Walk very slowly. Sounds like the alien. I hope it's not the alien. The robots are bad enough on this. There it is. Um. Oh wow, that's dark. Ah, that's why. <laughs> uh huh. Not just me, I can't hear the alien, can I? Yeah, the alien's floating around here somewhere. Hmm. Don't like this. That robot saw me and he's probably come to get me. And I can hear the alien clunking around in the in the vent. And I can do on here. Uh-huh. Relay access. Ah, okay. Come to access, relay access, okay. That's... Okay, okay. Turn that off. Should be really dark out here now. Oh god, the robot's coming back. Um. <coughs> well, a lot of the things about this game is you have to wait I know I can't even see the ass the asshole. Oh. Damn, okay. Oh the alien's gone. Any further? Oh no, the alien is back. Fantastic. Oh, 
why is that robot facing? I think he's facing the opposite direction. I can't see his creepy little eyes. Um, no. Oh god, he's facing this way. Has he moved? Yes, he's moved. Now he's gonna go to the he's gonna move to his left in a minute, so I'm gonna wait until he moves. Oh no. Oh god. Don't move this way, don't move this way. Because there isn't one. I hope he hasn't seen me. I swear to God, I just turned around and he was looking at me. Oh! that pal. When are you gonna move dude? I don't want to light a flare up because that will summon the alien surely. How many do I have anyway? Two. What is the big picture? I don't think this guy's gonna move. Yeah, they don't, dude. You, uh, your eyes are glowing red. That doesn't bode well for well anybody. Don't be doing that to me. God damn it, alien.
<gasps> Box of nothing. That's how we do it, boys and girls. If there's any girls watching. I just hope I don't get down to the bottom of here and then, you know, the alien goes, Ugh. It's like you come up the lift and the alien's just there, like, Hey, how you doing? And I'm just like, Oh, God, please, no. You trapped me, you son of a bitch. Because I would not be surprised if that kind of thing happened. Man, them droids are creepy. Ugh. Part of me, then, if you heard that, I'll be impressed if you did. <coughs> oh, hurry up and load. Well, don't. You know, I, I, I don't want my pants to be soiled. Watch. Here we go. Oh. That robot wasn't there before. Well, I'm not going to go and say hi. Still here, that bastard floating around in the vent. Crawl it nice and slow. I'll walk maybe when I get to the bottom of the stairs. Where's I gonna go? Ski metal. Oh damn. Ah! It all out without the alien turning up. All right, but more loading. God damn! God damn alien! God damn robots too.
fast journeys. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe it was a bit quicker than previous thoughts. I think. Or is it still trying to load? Oh, I thought that was a robot there, and I was like, oh, this is totally fair. Ripley, Taylor's over. What the hell happened to her? Ripley? Yep. Is that Ripley? I'm here. Try and rest, Taylor. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical is nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. <laughs> Basically, stay with me, Taylor. Until I'm exploring help. So basically, the the central AI of this place. Oh, hang on. I think I have to go this way. Uh, a little time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's face it; it'd be stupid for them to put the alien in here. Oh, save station. Come on, Ripley, stay running. Stay with me, Ripley. Looking for goodies. Are there any goodies? There are no goodies. God damn. Triangle. Whatever the hell that means. No people. So as you can see guys, I'm playing this on Nightmare, and on Nightmare you get a spazzy thing, which means... This is why you probably have, you've noticed me not using it, because I may as well just use my eyes. I'm not getting in that way. Medical... Stuff's happening. Oh, the windows are opening. Well, not opening. That sun still looks really stupid. The planet looks great, the sun doesn't. Or well, star doesn't. Whatever the hell you want to call it, same thing. You. Hey, you. Uh, yeah. I need a doctor. Hello? Ah, uh, the stuff. I need a... I can't hear you. <coughs> the door's locked. Great. Um. Oh. Come on, we'll Thank you. Alright, alright, you pushy bastard. Christ, let me get in and push the damn button. For another load screen! I think I might call it the end of an episode in a couple of minutes, guys, I think. Yeah, I think when I get up here. Uh, actually, no, I'll keep going until I find the next save station. And then... I probably should have saved it there, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> Most of this episode has been loading screens. I apologise. <laughs> Come on. You can do a little circle. You can load the game in. There we go. Ok 
get into the San Cristobal. Oh, Iron Torch. I actually wonder what's behind there anyway. I've never actually been in there. Like I said, I have played through this before, but due to the nature of the game, everything sl is ever so slightly different every time you play it. Mainly thanks to the, the alien. And of course, them goddamn freaky robots. And of course, I'm not playing this on on any old easy difficulty. I'm playing this on on Nightmare, so everything is just freaky as hell. And one of them is already in the vent, you dumbass. Oh, you've got access to the vent? Why can't I have access to the vent? Okay. How much battery we've got left? Okay, like half a thing. Oh, hell no. Oh, wow, this is so creepy. Oh! Your lock. You're not catching us as our best. Yeah, you, yeah, you ain't shitting me, pal. Oh, save station. Right, so where are we going? Assessment room. And now it's locked. Private rooms are not just off around the corner. Elevator straight ahead. What's on the other side? Visitors, psychiatric ward. And of course the assessment rooms there. Psychiatric ward. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Anyway guys, just before we go in and start speaking to this guy, I think. Is he in there? Should I have a look at? Yep, there he is. Before we go in and speak to him, I'm going to call this the end of an episode. So, not a lot happened in this episode, apart from at the beginning. But there you are. Biohazards, that's probably like needles and stuff. Sweet. Shame I can't stab the alien with it. Um, thanks for watching though, guys. Time for probably what I'm going to be guessing as a really creepy section. Uh, to the game, you know, you're in a psychiatric ward in a hospital on a space station that is falling to pieces with a, with a homicidal alien on the loose. Just what I want. Anyway, guys, I have been the Dalek, bleh, the Dalek Buster. So... I thank you for watching part 7 of Alien Isolation, and I hope to see you back for part 8. Okay guys, bye bye.